Hello YouTube, hello internet, Iron Sky here. I uh, wanted to take a moment, I've got to put my cotton glove on to make sure everything is uh, uh, hunky-dory when I do the coin review. But I got a new coin in, and, oh, wait, I'm touching it with bare hands. Oh, it's in the case. Well, it's about to be out of the case because we're about to do a coin review. Here we go. Hey everyone, back in uh, my fine studio with another example of a Morgan Silver Dollar. Uh, this particular one is an 1883. You can see it's got the uh, got a lot of detail on the coin. It says E Pluribus Unum. It's got some stars. It's got a face and it says Liberty. Uh, this particular uh, coin is circulated as you can tell by looking at the condition. It's got quite a bit of scratches and uh, and wear and tear uh, from the uh, from the decades and you can see actually a big scratch right there on the chin so it's not in perfect condition but it is a great a great tool for uh, a great vehicle rather for investing in physical silver uh, these are very rich in silver content and uh, even though they don't contain an ounce a troy ounce of silver uh, they still are, are very close to an ounce and because of their collector value also known as numismatic value they often uh, trade significantly higher than the spot price of silver it's got your standard reeded coin edge you can see there very nice edge on the other side you've got uh, you've got an eagle and it says United States of America it says one dollar and this particular one is S mint mark. You can see the S between the D and the O in the word dollar. And it's as you can see, the S is another example of how uh, circulated this particular example of this coin is uh, because of the wear in the in the S. But I mean, really impressive coins. Uh, Morgan silver dollars are becoming harder and harder to come by nowadays, uh, and it's primarily due to the fact that a lot of people. For the less, for the more common mint marks, a lot of people will just melt these coins. Actually, melt the coin down to uh, to harvest the uh, the silver and copper bullion within. So once they're gone, they're gone forever. Uh, now, the, whoa! I just dropped it. <laughs> That's why you encapsulate these things. And uh, but yeah, I mean these are these are great and. As more are melted, less of history exists. And it's, it's a way to hold a piece of history and also functions as a bullion investment. So, you know, if you like precious metals, this is a, this is a great vehicle for, for uh, becoming involved. I would, I would firmly suggest staying away from ETFs, exchange traded funds. I think we're going to see a lot of uh, naked short sellers exposed here in the near future and you're going to see the real long-term value in the physical metal and that's just my opinion but uh, thanks for tuning in and this is just one of many coin videos that I have on YouTube uh, feel free to check out the uh, coins and bullion playlist link that's within this video description and uh, also feel free to check out my other videos on YouTube too if you'd like but uh, thanks for tuning in and if you have a coin or know of a coin that I have not yet reviewed uh, please let me know and I'll see if I can get my hands on it and I'll conduct a video coin review here in this fine studio and uh, thanks for tuning in